Hey viewers, the next uh, item is another motor. Uh, Pavis the motor, I think's how they say it. It's uh, out of a um, a binding machine. If you're not sure what that is, it's a, a machine that puts perforated holes into paper so you can wind a, uh, a coil spring into it to hold the pages together. And uh, this was the drive motor that ran the mechanism that actually went up and down to perforate the holes. Um, it's, I saved the motor because I thought it was rather interesting. The whole outside of this is what rotates instead of in the center. So this is more like a uh, 120 volt uh, fan like from a computer as the blades would be around the outside and that's what that's what produced your air. Um, it's uh, geared down it's on a worm gear. So what this would do because it's on a worm gear, the this one here rotates very slowly and because of that it has a lot of torque on the uh, output shaft which is right here. And uh, when you when this is the motor's running all the time, and when the uh, you push the the button to make it make the perforated holes, it would push this solenoid here in, and it would release release this here, allowing the whole shaft to rotate. To make the perforated holes and this would only when you push the button it would only snap in for a second and release so it would each time and then it resets so each time you push the button it pulls this in pulls the pin out and allows this to rotate which rotates the shaft <clears throat> I don't know what the power the horsepower rating is on this motor but it's pretty beefy it's it's heavy the whole outer shell is very heavy so once this gets going it will take a very very high load on this to stop it mainly because it's geared down and there's a lot of inertia when this is going um, it's got a few little electronics with it two relays little circuit board there fuse, another resettable fuse, your uh, on off switch, I put this switch in to run the little little solenoid, normally it's just like a, a push type switch but I put that in so it can remain on. You have your run capacitor and start capacitor and uh, that's pretty much it. So I will turn this thing on and uh, show you how it works. This, so that re, the relay there, I don't know if you could hear it through the camera or not. I'll do it again. The relay kicks off the uh, start capacitor and I guess switches over to the run. I'll show you that through the amps here. There's your run load amps. So just to show you there. 
So this is how it would operate with the push switch. So each time you pushed it, it would do that and it would make the perforated holes. But because I got this uh, regular switch on here, I can do that until I switch it off. It's a very neat piece of engineering. I'm sure I could figure something out here because there be, there's a lot of a lot of power on this output shaft, probably four or five horsepower at least. I'll flip it on its side, see if I can... Uh... So you can see the shaft holding it there. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> so see, each time it goes around, that pin grabs it. But if I keep the switch in, you have continuous output. I think it's really neat. I'm sure I can find something to do with it. So yeah, this is uh, something neat that I found and I uh, decided to keep it since I haven't cro come across anything else kind of like this. Bearings are a little noisy but that just makes it sound really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching.